forgive my taking a few days to respond to the latest climate news. I wanted to see the expert responses and then the responses to the responses. I can now say I truly understand what just happened here and it's absolutely one of the least valid moves I've ever seen from this propaganda machine. Stories are everywhere right now, and the headline hawks who trust only the big words at the top of the page are clamoring about the end of the global warming pause, or rather, that it never existed at all. And it's based on a paper that purports that the pause was a data error and that actually it was cooler in the late 90s and early 2000s, meaning that warming actually continued and never stopped. I'll dissect that claim in a bit. But first, let's talk statistics. This paper claims to have a 90% confidence level, which sounds darn good. It translates to a p-value of 0.1 in statistics terms, and the lower the better with p-values. Unfortunately, this is not like getting a 90% on a math test where you would have done pretty well. This is an okay confidence level, but it generally means you should probably go back and try again. It essentially means there is a good chance that this result is completely random chance and that any errors made in the analysis would amplify that uncertainty. Let's compare it to the study I did with Dr. Holloman and Dr. Uyen, a p-value of 0 .000015, which comes out to be about 10,000 times more confident than what the government claims is the end of all the pause discussion. 90% confidence level is not a bad result, it's just not that good, and certainly not of the merit required in this situation. Beyond that, one of their adjustments required them to extend land temperature data in the Arctic across out into the water to account for lack of sensors out there. The problem is that the land temps deviate strongly when ice is present, so they cover up the largest land water discrepancy by hiding the ice, and if they were to ever extrapolate this to TSI analyses in the future, they will completely miss the albedo effect as well. But there's more. The water temperature adjustments at lower latitudes are all adjusted in the last few years to match long-term records of water intake on marine vessels, which is well documented to be higher than average due to heat contamination from the vessel itself. In other words, they take actual measurements and then they change them to match something that is known to be overheated by the ships themselves. Sounds like a silly idea? I agree. It is also date biased. The overall change in temperature since 1951 is 0.01 degrees, while the time of global warming pause got jacked up nearly five times as much, which means that the time before the pause must have been cooled to show that trend of warming still in existence. This is a math problem a first grader can do, at least they could when I was in school. Do they still have to memorize multiplication tables? Never mind. Anyways, this looks like the temperature since the late 1800s, right? Nope. This is the official adjustment data to the official temperature data, showing clearly how the past has been cooled and the recent time is adjusted upward. Now, while the history of adjustments follows this exact same pattern, this chart is actually just since 2008, when it became clear that the global warming pause was no joke, the adjustments became utterly ridiculous. Any and all excuses to drop previous temperatures was done so. Well, what about this new study specifically? Here are the actual adjustments made, with a bunch of overlaying words that actually happen to be partially incorrect. This chart shows what they did to the data, month by month, and while that box correctly shows where the rate of change was trending to the negative, the first part of the box includes years where they adjusted upward and the box cuts off before they stop cooling the data. They mistake the angle of the line for the zero baseline. It is warming adjustments above, and below it, it is cooling adjustments. I would argue that the spirits of the comments are correct, and if you correct the box position, just push it to the right a little bit, it is just about perfect. By the way, this means that to show an end to the global warming pause, they actually jacked down only the time period at the start of the pause, and then they jacked up the temperatures just here in the latest years. Even still, one simple fact remains. If we forget the weak confidence level, 
if we forget that the Arctic and ocean temperature adjustments might lack merit, and if we forget that they tweak the data specific to just the global warming pause time period, what you would still be left with if you took all of their word for everything still falls failingly short of any prediction made. Not really our leader's finest hour.